it's a real pleasure to be up here to introduce this film. Um, uh, it was one of the films that affected me most this year. It's a beautifully directed film. It's about the it's about the fronts we put up and the secrets we hide to get through the day, um, how unexpected events can change our lives for good. Um, uh, as I said, it's driven by some nuanced direction, a very intriguing and smart script by Alana Francis with some very complex... <laughs> some very complex, often contradictory, and very real characters. It's driven by a phenomenal cast including Abigail Panowski, Sophie Nelise, a former rising star at TIFF, Jody Balfour, and Heather Graham, who I think, I think delivers uh, one of the finest performances her lengthy and adventurous career. Please join in welcoming the principals, some of the principal talents behind the film. Producers Katie Bird, Nolan, and Lindsay Tapscott. <laughs> Writer Alana Francis, and the director Ashling Chinyi. This is so exciting. <laughs> this is the biggest cast and crew screening I've ever been at. So, um, Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Tiff. Uh, thank you for this beautiful cinema for us to get to watch this film for the very first time. Um, this movie was made by a lot of women. <laughs> and some men, but mainly women. <laughs> it stars amazing women as well. So we're really, really proud of this fact and we hope that it touches you. We hope that you feel the same things that we felt making it, which was some tears, some arguments, <laughs> some laughter, some more laughter. So we really, really enjoyed making this film and we really hope that you enjoy it too. Um, thank you, Alana, for writing this fantastic script. It's the reason that anyone's here. And thank you to Katie and Lindsay, you know, of Babe Nation Films, who took a risk on me to make my first feature film, which was also their first feature film. And, you know, I'll always, I'll always appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much. If you could please welcome back to the stage, writer Alana Francis. Producers Lindsay Tapscott and Katie Bird Nolan. <laughs> Director Ashling Chin Yi. And from the cast, Ab Abigail Panowski. <laughs> Sophie Nelise. Jody Balfour. And Heather Graham. Amazing collaborators, the, my co-editor, Veronique Baub. Come on out. <laughs> is Daniel Grant, our amazing DP in the house? Is he here? Do I see a tall, tall man anywhere? I do, anyway. Hurry up, come on. Um, Taya Holatz, are you here? The production designer, who these two made this movie so beautiful. Is Taya here? No, okay. Um, and I know Jenna Wright is in here. She's in LA, our beautiful costume designer who made uh, everyone look so lush and amazing. And <laughs> we also have a couple more. I'm going to give you guys a yes, yes, yes. We have Cora Lakin, our line producer, and Brendan Brady, our production manager, and Will Woods, our producer, wherever he is. And Damon Oliveira, one of our executive producers. I mean, thank you, everybody. I'm, again, like, thank you, Alana, for writing this amazing script. Thank you, you two, for making this whole crazy dream happen for all of us. It was, you worked so hard, tirelessly. These girls need to go to bed. They're very tired. Um, and thank you to the amazing cast, Abby, Sophie, Jody, Heather. You guys were so fantastic to be part of this journey. 
and trust me to be able to take on this story. It was so much fun to work with. Vero, Vero, we stuck, we were stuck in a lot of dark rooms alone <laughs> together. Uh, and we made a great movie. You cut a great movie with your compassion and your sensibility. You're so fantastic. This guy, I had to chase him around on set because he's way taller than me. But uh, who made this movie so beautiful and fantastic? And these two, these two here, <laughs> Carl and Brendan, amazing. You guys were so great working line production, production management, fantastic. And thank you, Damon, for all of your support and mentorship and everything along the way. And um, am I, what am I forgetting? I'm forgetting things. Anyway, they were. These are the collaborators, the people that made this film. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do without them. Uh, my thank you to my family, who are so supportive, to Jean-Marc, who was so supportive, and all of his love and support during this project. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do it without any of you guys out there, so thanks. Yeah. You're the light and I'm the dark. Now you get to hear from the producers that we know nobody wants to hear from. But um, <laughs> so again, thank you, Damon Dolivera, down there. Um, you've been in our corner since day one, and we don't think we would have survived if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much. Um, it's you. Yeah, okay. Um, to all of our funders who made this film possible: Dan Lyon and Stephanie Azam at Telefilm, um, Aaron Kelly and Christine at Ontario Creates, Melissa and Melanie at the NOHFC, Gosha and Mitch at TMN. Patrice Terhu, um, and Alan Backus and John Galway at the Harold Greenberg Fund. Thank you to Mark, Dan, John, and Sarah at Urban Post, uh, to Mark Cote at Real by Fake, and to Jean Marc. We cannot thank you enough for your generosity. Thank you, Lana Francis, our creative partner in crime. Um, we are so honored to know you, and we're so blessed to know that we get to work with you forever. <laughs> um, <laughs> we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, thank you to Ashling. Uh, my God. <laughs> um, thank you for taking the reins in such a bold, beautiful way and with such care and empathy and humor. You are extraordinary. You rose to this challenge with such a fierceness and a passion. We couldn't have imagined it when we asked you to direct. <laughs> um, and um, thank you to Heather Graham, uh, Sophie Nelise, Jody Balfour, and Abigail Pinowski for saying yes. Um, <laughs> you truly just killed it. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, oh, yeah. um, and then finally, we'd like also, also to thank our uh, families and also our partners, David and Scott. Thank you so much for reminding us to be kind and patient and grounded and light through this entire experience. It was absolutely the hardest thing we've ever done. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Correct. We're done. We're done. Okay. Cool. Uh, questions? Comments? All right. Right there. Question was for Alana. How did the story come about? Yeah. Um, well, I think <laughs> everything that I write really comes from a personal place um, and whether that's an emotion that I felt or that I've, you know, seen reflected in, in relationships that I've had. Um, and to me, it, it was sort of a what if question, you know, what if these people that we don't think would, would ever form a friendship or an allyship, what if they were forced together and, and what if that enabled them to sort of let their masks down and then everything kind of like comes from there, yeah. Next, is somebody in the upstairs there, or anyone? Just shout it out, I can't see anything, so. <laughs> no? Down here? Down here? Yep, go ahead. Um, the stiff arm handing arms. of the flowers, <laughs> where did that come from? Right, the script, the direction, the acting? Yeah, it's just a little bit of everything, but I mean, we should all give Heather's arms a warm, <laughs> yes, <laughs> round of applause for doing that. <laughs> Next? Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Over there. Yeah. Um, 
Did you ever, did, was there ever a version of the script where two male characters actually spoke to each other? Uh, uh, or there had a more significant presence? I don't think there was ever a scene where two men spoke to each other alone. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I just like really, to me, this story was always these four women. I mean, three women and one girl. Um, and it's, it revolves around them. And to me, it's interesting that Craig kind of haunts it as a ghost. Um, I definitely explored more Craig, but in the end, it didn't, it didn't feel like that was what the story was about. And so that kind of fell away in the end, yeah. I think more importantly was the reversion where the cat made it. Uh, <laughs> no, Boots was doomed from the beginning. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it goes. Yes, in the middle there, yeah. The question was for Abigail, congratulations. Uh, how old are you and uh, what previous acting experience do you have? Um, uh, first of all, I am 11 years old. <laughs> um, um, I've done uh, quite a lot of TV shows and movies. I've done a horror film with my sister. I've done, um, I've done a movie with um, Sophie, actually. We did a, a horror movie together, too. Um, <laughs> um, this is why she carries around the dead guy in the <laughs> movie. She had the most amount of experience with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I've done a lot of... Uh, Arrival. Arrival, yeah, Arrival's one. I, I did Arrival. <laughs> I did... <laughs> I did... Uh, <laughs> Do you want me to name all of them, or should I just like? I think that's. You got a good okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, next. Hey, are you going to take back the mic? Yeah. Right there. What is the significance behind the title "The Rest of Us"? I'm going to throw that back at you, Alana. <laughs> um, to me, the title is sort of a question um, where the beginning is what happens to the rest of us. <laughs> um, and that was kind of, you know, a thought and a question that I had in my head as I was writing it. Um, you know, and it's maybe one, one group thinks of themselves as the rest of us, the people who are left behind, but in the end, they are all the rest of us. <laughs> there, was, there was also a version of the script where that was the last line of the film and really it was also um, Sophie welcoming, um, it was Aster welcoming Cammie to being, you know, mm -hmm. part of the rest of us who are vulnerable and make f mistakes and have flaws and all of these other things too. So I feel like there was a, there's a couple of different, couple different iterations. And Layered, that. hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can do one more, maybe, uh, yeah, right there. When you wrote the script, did you have the performers in mind, or and how did the casting work out? And maybe what attracted you guys to the script, too, mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. Nice. Do you wanna? Yeah. Oh, sure, I mean, when I, in early stages, I didn't really have anyone in mind. Um, and then you start talking about people and it's, it's so hard to imagine it. And then these wonderful actors come on board and they like completely embody the role and take the role somewhere that you as the writer really could never have expected. And it's, it's so wonderful and lovely. And I mean, I'm so grateful that my words were able to be spoken by such an amazing cast, so yeah. Do you guys maybe want to talk about what attracted you to the script? Um, 
Yeah, I th oh, you can go. Oh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, Why did you want to make this movie? <laughs> I don't know. I felt like I really felt like I was Tallulah and not like Tallulah is a character that I'm playing. I felt like I, I can embody her as like a person and she, she, I'm her for a month. Tallulah is me for a month. Um, I, uh, I had been put in touch with the script about a year ago before the process of casting had started, and I just really loved it from the start. I felt like I could connect with each character differently, um, even if I only had to play um, Aster. Um, and I just felt like I really did connect with Aster um, in the way that um, her, the relationship she has with her mom. Uh, my mom is obviously like the most important person in my life and I feel like it's the same for Aster, but also because they're the most, um, she's the most important person in my life, I also feel like she's the one that I don't want to let down or that I don't want her to see me cry. I don't want her to see me uh, being defeated. So she's the one that I'm always the most angry to. Um, whenever I get in a fight with someone, I'll just be really nice and then I'll just, my mom is like my human punching bag. And I feel like um, that's a little bit like what Aster does in the movie. She puts all of her emotions, her stress, her anger onto her mom, where really you just need to, you know, open up and communicate. And I think that's a little bit what this movie is about, is that you need each other's help instead of, you know, putting your walls up. So, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think what initially drew me to the project was... Uh, the complexity and the uncovering of sort of the gray area that exists um, inside of this uh, usually quite archetypal context of like the betrayed woman and the betrayer and the consequences around that. And I just felt like it looked at this scenario with a really fresh perspective and with such humanity and honesty. Um, and no one person was the hero necessarily. Um, and that, yeah, I, I think it's always really fascinating to look at humanity uh, in the gray, not in such black and whites as we tend to do sometimes in our society. Um, and then getting to meet Ashling and Katie and Lindsay just sort of sold it, really. What an amazing experience to work with a team that looks this female. <laughs> <laughs> This theater is gorgeous. Wow. Um, thank you for your kind words about the film. That I really appreciated everything cool. you said. Yeah. Um, well, I love the script, and um, it's wonderful to work with women and to see female perspective in film and to see our side of the story told, which so often is not always told. And I thought the character was interesting and complicated, and I'm controlling, and I want to be perfect, but underneath it, I have all these feelings, and I'm afraid to feel them. I could relate to that. And it's just been beautiful working with women and feeling that, you know, people want to see our stories and just being able to tell our side of the story and, and that have my character to, to really understand it and, and that Ashlyn cared so much about all of our characters and that we were all interesting, complicated people and it was so fun. So thank you for coming. I'm afraid we're going to have to wrap it up, but thank you guys for coming and congratulations on the film. <laughs>